Hey, in this video, we're going to look at the new features that has been added to the 1.22 OS release for the Electron Analog Machines. So I've got Simon here with me. Hello. And uh, we're going to look at the, the trick conditions where you can add probability to your sequences and the fill mode and also the the new LFO synchronization, which allows for key tracking, which you can make some really cool new sounds with. Yeah, so let's check them out. So let's start with the trick conditions. So I have a basic beat here. So I go into grid recording mode and uh, I want to place a step and use maybe 25% chance of triggering this step. So as you can hear and see, it doesn't get triggered every time. So can you get some more like control of that? Yeah, sure. We also have the, the modulus effect, so I can dial that in. So let's put a step and assign a different value on the tree condition parameter. For example, 2 by 3. Now, this value means is that this step will get triggered every second time out of 3. So the first number represents when this step will be triggered, and the second number is the counter of it. So this is really handy to make longer sequences out of 16 steps or how many steps that you have. You can create evolving um, patterns. So let's add some few more steps here. Uh, may maybe select two by four on this one. Uh, maybe some other, maybe let's see here, um, three by three. So now these steps don't get triggered every time and they get triggered over time. So it's like, that's a kind of like a dynamic to your pattern. One thing that I really like doing is on the hi-hat track, I can have four steps like this and assign 50% in all of them. So now I can copy these four tricks and paste it to the rest of the sequence. So now I've got like irregular weird hi-hats going on. So it's, now with the trick conditions, it's pretty easy to make um, you know, more interesting and evolving patterns now. Yeah. yeah. So let's take, take a look at the new LFO stuff. So the LFO can now be synchronized to the oscillator and LFO1 can track oscillator1 and LFO2, oscillator2. So I've got L uh, oscillator1 set up as my modulating oscillator. So the LFO1 is going to track that and modulate my filter, which is filtering my second oscillator that has a triangle. And I'm pulling down the cutoff a bit to reduce the upper harmonics and using the peak filter for the destination, which is going to bring in the harmonics from the modulation. So the basic sound is kind of this organ sound and bringing in some modulation sounds like this. Yeah, it almost is like a, a new waveform. That's, yeah, it's yeah. starting to sound like a saw wave. Yeah. yeah. And it's kind of bright and rich. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, and you can also use the second LFO that is tracking the bass oscillator and sound to make some new, even more richer sounds that you can fade out oh. to get this kind of classic sweeping sound. And of course you can detune your modulating oscillator to get some other sounds. Yeah, imagine parameter locking that. Yeah. Uh, the parameter so now there yeah. kind of sounds like a square wave. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and of course you can make really classic type linear FM sounds yeah. from like 80s type of things. Yeah, I'll, have to, I'll have to get that patch off you sometime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. can. And then also like some deep percussion and stuff. Nice. Really usable. Nice. But uh, how far can you go crazy on this? Like, I mean, Oh, you can you... go very crazy. Yeah. You can go and modulate everything a lot more than I've been doing. I'm also very safe, so. That's definitely new sounds there in there. That's really cool. So let's have a look at the, the fill mode that uh, I want to talk a bit about. So the beat that we were making before, let's uh, play that again. So now within the trick condition parameter, there is a thing called fill here, as you can see on the screen now. There is many other modes that um, you'll have to discover yourself by either reading the manual or having a adventurous time with it. But now this step doesn't get triggered unless I press the page button, 
while I am not in grid recording mode. So now I have a step which is assigned with fill. So I'd like to copy that and maybe assign it to random locations in the sequence with different tracks. Uh, just to give you an idea of what it can be achieved. As you can hear and see, these uh, tricks are not getting heard. They're not getting played back until I press the page button here now. Yeah. So that's the, the fill mode where you can add um, steps and you can even turn steps off if you wish to do so. So that's the, the new features um, in a shell of the 1.22 release that uh, is available on the Electron website now. And uh, maybe you can grab some of the uh, Simon's really cool FM patches on yeah. the YouTube link. So uh, check them out. Thank you very much.